the long shadow. The morning sun was just touching the top of the buildings as Jamie and Sarah walked slowly across the bridge. Beneath them, they could see a wide brown river swirling past. In the distance, the twin towers of a great cathedral rose above the city. That's Notre Dame, so we must be in Paris. Great, that's a sight to see in. Wait at least no one about to ask directions from. Too early, I suppose. Yes, although I don't think I fancy asking the way dressed like this. We look like a pair of total scruffs. I don't know, this hole in my shirt's a bit trendy, isn't it? Look, there's someone over there. Hey, don't pull my shirt to a bit anymore and there won't be anything left to wear. Sorry. Come on, we can ask that man the shortest way to Notre Dame. Hold on, not so fast. What's that tall wooden thing in the square? <gasps> there's a huge blade right up at the top. It's a guillotine. That man's pacing up and down in front of it. Well, whatever he was thinking about, he's obviously made up his mind. Maybe that's why he left so quickly. Look, those guards. Alfred, make it quick! Yes, citizen! Yes. They're chasing him with pikes! Wonder what for? Reckon he's another customer for the guillotine. I don't like the look of this. We've got to go and warn him. Come on! Okay, we can cut down his side streets. They shouldn't spot us. All right, but hurry! Jamie, he's carrying a sword. Oh, too late, he's seen us. Huh? I don't know who you are, but there are four guys with pikes following you. And they don't look like they're about to invite you to a party. Huh? Oh, he doesn't understand. Men with pikes. <gasps> it's all right. I understand very well. Jacques Chevalier thanks you, mes amis. He's gone. That was quick. Oh, well. We've done our good deed for the day. Now, how about that sightseeing? That might not be such a good idea. Oh no, it's those men again. You keep them talking. Why? What are you going to do? You'll see. Be ready to escape quickly. Uh, good morning. You must be policemen. I wonder if you can tell us the way to Notre Dame. What? Who are you? Uh... You come with us. Oh no, we won't. You can't make us. <laughs> Wretched boy! Quick, Sarah, make a run for it! Why is down? Don't worry, I'm coming! <laughs> Look at them, all falling over each other. <laughs> nice one, Jamie, tripping them up like that. Now what? This way, up this alley. They'll never catch us now. Yes, they will. It's a dead end. Oh, no. Me and my big mouth. <gasps> What's that? Oh, I us. Shh, silence. <gasps> Where are you taking us? Oh, phew. That was close. They nearly had us then. <sighs> Where are we? I can't see a thing. Somebody put a light on. Uh, Jamie, I don't think electricity has been invented yet. Come with me. Hey, isn't that Jacques? What's his name? One good turn deserves another. Thanks. Yes, they were really close to getting us then. Come with me up this staircase. Oh, this door's tiny. Wow. It's a beautiful room overlooking the square. Lucky you've got this place, Jacques. I'm Sarah, by the way. This is my brother, Jamie. Uh -huh. That's clever. A secret door. It disappears into the panelling when you shut it. It's just a little extra way in and out. It comes in handy. Bet it does. Look, down in the square, there's a whole bunch of people crowding round the guillotine. They have a thirst for blood. There will be more executions at noon today. Who are they executing? The supply of aristocrats is endless. They will come for me, too, one day. That's horrible. Yes. I've done what I can to help a few poor wretches escape from that fate. But the person who means the most to me is now in terrible danger. Who's that? Mademoiselle Sophie de Lille, who is lady-in-waiting to Queen Marie Antoinette. She is held with the Queen and King Louis himself in the temple prison. What 
are you going to do? I suppose I can trust you. I'm going to the prison tonight to rescue my Sophie or die in the attempt. Climb the battlements, beat off the guards and carry her away? <laughs> Something like that. It sounds hopeless. Sarah, where's your sense of adventure? No, Sarah is right. It probably is hopeless. But I must try. That's the spirit. At the moment, Sophie is only in prison as an attendant to the Queen. But any moment a warrant may be issued for her arrest for treason. How come? That officer with the pikemen was Commander Santerre of the National Guard. He has given orders to round up all women and children who are suspect. Last week, Sophie's sister and her two children fled to England. When Santerre finds out, he will arrest Sophie and then... I've got a better idea. Have you got your escape route to England all planned? Yes. I have a carriage, false passports for Sophie and myself, and fresh horses posted all the way to the coast. So the problem is getting her out of prison? Obviously. All right, here's my plan. Did Santerre know that Sophie's sister made a run for it? Not yet. Then Jamie and I can pose as Sophie's nephew and niece. You can arrive at the Temple Prison with us in chains, saying Santerre has ordered you to arrest the whole family. You pretend to arrest Sophie and then take us all away. That's brilliant. It could work. Having you in chains would make it look more convincing to the guards at the Temple. Oh, but I would need forged papers and a National Guard's uniform and new clothes for you two. Now. We can manage that, can't we? Yes, we will try. But let's hope we don't bump into Commander Santerre. He's a devil. He'll see through us in a minute. Don't worry. We'll be really careful. Come. i lead you out the back way. Is this the place? The Temple Prison, yes. Good job you managed to get the National Guard's uniform. There are some guards at the gate. Your documents, please. Here you are. I'm Citizen Chevalier, National Guard. All right. Go through, Citizen Chevalier. So far, so good. Now for the really difficult bit. Now you two. Remember what you have to do. Yes. Although, I can't wait to get out of these fancy clothes. Oh, these chains aren't too comfortable either. We'll do it now. All right, you two, out! <sighs> <laughs> Bravo, Citizen Chevalier. All the children of Aristos should be in chains. Looks like we fooled them. Move! That wasn't so bad. That's just the start. The men guarding the royal family won't be so easy to convince. That's so terrible. Now we have moved. You, Truffleur. Yes, citizen? Be constantly on your guard for rescue attempts. Very good, sir. I shall return at daybreak to search the royal apartments once more. There's our chance. While Santerre is away. Very well, Commander Santerre. I will arrest the Delia woman straight away. Who is it? You heard the commander. I'm in a hurry. Bring the Delia woman here at once. Oh, I don't know. The commander didn't say anything to me. Your name is Souffleur? Yes. How did you know? You want me to call Commander Santerre back, Souffleur, and tell him you're questioning his orders? Well, I don't know. Who are these two, anyway? Do you not recognise your betters? I'm the Vicomte, Jeremy de Grand. And this is my sister, Sarah. Also de Grand, we are nephew and niece to Queen Mary Antoinette's lady-in-waiting, Sophie de Grand, I mean, de Lille. And you, monsieur, are a vegetable, a cauliflower. What? That's what your name means in English. You horrible little Alistair brat! Do not touch my prisoner, sergeant, or you will answer to Commander Santerre himself. Now bring Mademoiselle de Lille here and be quick about it. Oh, very well. door leads to. Hey, isn't that the king, King Louis? And citizen Marie Antoinette, otherwise known as Monsieur and Madame Capet. That is what we call them now. And their two children. Hey, what do you want? I am Prince Louis, heir to the throne of France. And this is my sister, Princess Therese. Who are you? Uh... Well, no one really. She's Sarah and I'm Jamie. We're getting Sophie out of here. Do you want to come? I do not understand. Shush, keep your voice down. You mean we could escape? That is impossible. The heir to the throne does not run away. The truth is, we all tried it once. 
But we got caught. Maybe we could just get you two out, even if we couldn't manage to take the king and queen. I could not leave my mother. You can still save yourself. Don't be ridiculous. What are you brats whispering about? Hey, come out of there, you Arista Welps. <laughs> Jacques, it's you. You know him? Of course she knows me. You peasant, she's my aunt. Oh? She always calls me Jack. Hello, auntie. Oh, oh, uh, hello, dear. And this is Sarah, auntie. You probably don't recognise her. She was away on your last visit. Sarah? Oh, yes, of course. My, how you've grown. How are you, my dear? Not too good. In fact, we're all under arrest, aren't we? That's right. I'm taking the whole lot of you to the prison of La Force. Now let's go. Uh, Wait a minute. What is it, Sergeant? You'll need an escort. Take two of my men. They will drive your carriage to La Force. Very well. I can climb onto the roof, push the guards off, and, and we'll make a dash for it. No, that won't work. They'll raise the alarm, and then they won't let us through the city gate. No. Sarah and I haven't got passports anyway. So there's no way they'll let us out. We can't leave you, not after you've done so much to help. Mm. I got it. Come on, Sarah. You and I are going to make a break for it. You'll oh. never do it. Look, there's no other way. Just make sure the guards follow us. Take these chains of us first. Be careful. Here you are. Thanks. Now, Sarah, jump! No. Good luck! Run! Quick! Get after those Aristo brats! They've escaped! I'll take this woman into the prison! Get up, Get up from quick! Get up the Aristo! Get the Aristo! Quick, please! Get that way! Guards are coming! At least Sophie and Jack are safe. Now we've got to get away. These fancy clothes. <laughs> Good job we kept her old rags on underneath. <sighs> Quick, put the clothes under this pile of rubbish. Let's sit down. Pretend to be beggars. Spare a few francs, citizen. Push off, beggar. You haven't seen two kids pass this way by any chance? Arista brats. That's right. They went that way. Thanks, young citizens. I've been wondering. Do you think Louis and Therese were very brave or just very stupid? To stay behind, you mean? Yeah. A bit of both, I suppose. Anyway, I suppose it would have changed the course of history, and you can't do that, can you? You're right. How about some of that sightseeing now? After all, who knows when we'll get a chance to come to Paris again? OK, Notre Dame first. Why not? Then let's go to the Eiffel Tower. Oh, it hasn't been built yet. The music in The Long Shadow is taken from Liszt's Piano Concerto No. 1. In the first movement, Liszt gives the powerful opening tune to the string section, while the brass and woodwind interrupt with loud chords. The piano plays a duet with other instruments, first a clarinet and then a violin. Finally, as the music grows more exciting, it is the turn of the cellos to share the musical material. In 
the second movement, the piano enters, introducing a beautiful song-like melody. Over a long trill on the piano, we hear a series of solos played by flute, clarinet, oboe and cello. The tinkling sound of the triangle draws our attention to new dance-like music. A solo viola has an important part to play. The strings play in tremolo fashion, making the music sound rather mysterious. The short concluding movement has important parts for triangle and symbols. Listen especially to the assertive sound of the trombones. In the closing bars of the piece, after a long scale passage played by the piano, a variation of the opening theme appears a final time, hidden away in the bass. These are just some of the highlights of Liszt's first piano concerto. You are bound to discover more every time you listen. <laughs>